The All Blacks in the holo, they're still there. Reed and Aaron Smith. And advantage with a Patrick Tai Palatu. Oh, beautiful work, Sam. He's snapped up by Kane. Barrett brings this one yeah. wide across it goes. Cindy, can you believe it's almost been a year since we had the privilege to be in New Zealand watching a fantastic game of rugby? That game was amazing. Springboks, All Blacks, 16 all felt like a win. That try in the dying seconds, the stadium cleared out like the Springboks had won. It was awesome. How nice were the New Zealand players the day before shooting with us, doing a video for Investec, just so professional. And yet they still remain so focused come match day. It doesn't actually like throw them off or anything like that. And it's almost what we've seen now. They've been in lockdown. We've all been in lockdown. They literally had like a couple of weeks to prepare when they found out that they would be able to come back to full contact rugby, fans in the stands. And what a spectacular tournament it's been so far. Guys, thank you for joining us to celebrate rugby at last again. You guys are back playing each other. Uh, home and away, Hurricanes, the Crusaders, Islanders, the Chiefs and the Blues doing really well at the moment. Sam, tell us more about the tournament. Hello Cindy and Victor. Super Rugby Aotearoa competition is pretty unique. It's obviously just us five Kiwi teams battling it out against each other. We play each other twice, one home and one away. Uh, no finals, just based off round robin. So really looking forward to it. We know each other really well as teammates. So um, every, every clash will be massive. Dane Coles, it must have been quite something for you and the rest of the Hurricanes when you guys found out you'd be able to play again. Yeah, when I first found out we were, we were going to be playing, playing Super Rugby again, uh, to be honest, like so happy. Um, just so stoked that we'd be able to run around and do something we love after what we've been through. So yeah, very uh, happy that we get to, to get to play rugby again. Now, New Zealand was one of those countries that had very strict COVID-19 measures in place right from the get-go, and you guys handled it extremely, extremely well. What safety measures are you putting in place at home and away to make sure that your players are safe? Uh, early on, some of, the, some of the safety measures that we took to ensure uh, we were COVID-19 free were taking our temperature every morning and, and writing that down. Uh, we had a, to, to log in and out so that there was only our, our strict contact bubble um, and, and really limited staff on site. And did they make any changes to the actual, uh, the way the game is played, any f less physical contact perhaps? There's no changes around rugby um, as such. Early on when we were coming out of lockdown, our training um, groups were small and there was two or three with our full squad. So we were isolated between each groups and um, this, this was managed pretty well by our medical team. And um, we're now at a stage where we're training fully together and obviously playing. Um, so fingers crossed we stay COVID free and this competition can continue like this. Now lockdown hasn't actually been great for a lot of people, but for some it's been a time to reflect and just take a look at life and all the things we're missing and perhaps, you know, what's going on around us and just enjoy the moments. What have you taken out of being stuck in lockdown? I've taken away a lot from my time in isolation. Uh, I'm Samoan, but I live in New Zealand and obviously learning my language and culture is very important to me. So during isolation, I managed to do some Samoan classes and catch up on a bit of that and get closer to my roots. So that's one thing I've taken away from being in isolation. Uh, we've got three kids, three boys and my wife. And um, yeah, with rugby, you're so busy, your mind's always ticking over. So to, to have that parked up and just kind of, you couldn't control when it was going to come back and just letting it go and just kind of being, giving my full attention to my family was something I kind of learned. So I try to, Use that now every time I come home from training just to forget about it and rugby's always going to be there the next day and just give my kids my full attention and yeah, so just, just letting go and, and being present. Well, it sounds like Dane Coles' his wife's very happy to have him home with the three kids there. You can help a little bit. And um, I must say, it's just, it's really a great time to spend with your family, isn't it? Is. it? But you are someone who travelled extensively through your career and even now as a commentator, does it feel weird to have so much time with them? No, the first week was pretty 
different, uh, not used to seeing each other 24-7. And um, But I must say, I really enjoyed it. Uh, from the second wing on, really spending time, waking up with him in the mornings, training a lot. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I think everyone around the world just saw how important family is. So I think it's great. But um, I love spending time with teammates. So how did you guys, uh, I know you were away from each other for quite some time. How did you guys keep in touch? So we've got um, various ways to connect. We've got a WhatsApp group. Um, we were doing Zoom calls once a week um, as a big team or every second day actually. But we were really lucky. The WhatsApp group really came alive around just our training. So we were sharing and videoing and time-lapsing what training we did. Um, we would make up challenges for each other. So today we do this workout, everyone give it a crack, show me your time. But hey, we all found out during lockdown that Zoom is an amazing app, being able to talk and see everyone felt like you were there, not only with just my teammates, but with my family and my friends as well. Well, I spoke to Dwayne Vermeulen a few days ago, and it looks like he picked up about two or three kgs in lockdown. Um, how did you guys keep fit in lockdown, and how was that first two sessions back on the field with the team? Before the lockdown, us Crusaders actually distributed all the weights, equipment from our headquarters around through the players, so we had a bit of a home set up. Um, to train and work from. Um, I panic bought a squat rack so I could do my weights from home and also had a rowing machine where I could do conditioning and I was lucky enough to have a park um, 400 metres down the road so I'd do my conditioning running there. After so many weeks in lockdown um, it was a little bit of a shock coming back to training but we had three weeks to get ready and I think the thing that made it really helpful was you knew every New Zealand player was the same. Sounds like you had it pretty easy coming back, but I'm sure there must have been some coaches that couldn't wait to get their hands on you guys. Yeah, I think getting back to training and obviously being in, for, in isolation for so long was, um, yeah, a little bit, I think, coming in the first day, everyone was, you know, stepping on eggshells a bit, but, um, you know, everyone had really good plans. Like, we were kind of eased back into it. We didn't really um, try, you know, thrash ourselves straight away into training because um, they obviously the bodies would have break down and everyone was on different programs. Some guys had gyms at home, some guys didn't. So everyone knew was on different levels and we just tried to, you know, build for that for that three weeks and by that fourth week we were we were hissing and contact and stuff like that. So yeah, it was the, the trainers and the plan that the, um, everyone put to New Zealand rugby was everyone kind of followed and yeah, we just kind of eased back into it and it was looking good. You guys sound so upbeat, you sound confident, you sound like you've never been off the pitch. Around the world, there's a lot of people watching the Investec Super Rugby Aotearoa competition at the moment, wishing they weren't in lockdown. What words of encouragement do you have for those fans still in lockdown? To all our fans uh, who are still in lockdown, I'd say stay positive, um, continue to get up at the usual time you would in the morning, um, keep a routine, whether that's um, doing some sort of physical activity, um, challenge your mind, listen to podcasts, read books. Um, yeah, we don't stop learning as humans, so that's my piece of advice to get through lockdown. Uh, keep at it. There's light at the end of the tunnel. I definitely know that one thing that helped me get through was trying to stay busy. Uh, keep trying to upskill yourself. There's a lot of online courses out there. Uh, there's always stuff to do. Um, to make, make use of the time wisely and, and uh, yeah, keep at it. All the players around the world must be envious of you guys, back on the park, uh, playing the game we love again. Um, I know what it felt like after Christmas break to get back with your teammates that first day. It must have been an amazing feeling that first day back on the field again. We're so used to seeing each other every single day and you almost take that for granted. So to be able to come back in after you know five or six weeks of not seeing each other, um, just the energy that you you pick up off each other was really cool and um, we we're straight back to, to working hard and having fun. Good energy is just so important in general, on and off the field. I mean, and you hear the guys speak about it. I don't know about you, but as soon as New Zealand announced they were going to do Investec Super Rugby at Aotearoa, I got so excited. I was like, yes, something to watch. And even though we're in a stricter lockdown, it kind of felt a little bit lighter for us. Yeah, people 
couldn't wait to see live rugby or live sport on TV again. Uh, even the golf was just fantastic to watch. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's great seeing these guys back. Uh, it's five very good teams that will be very competitive. And I think the fans are just going to love it. Sam Kane, can you feel the energy worldwide from the rest of the fans who are still in maybe a bit of stricter lockdown? Can you guys feel that you've made a difference just by being able to be on the field? Look, oh, we understand that everyone's uh, been going through some, some pretty tough times and, and for some it's, it's worse than others. Uh, I think we saw how important um, you know, our nurses, police officers, um, frontline staff, the people who kept our country running, we saw how important they are to us. Um, as a country so for us now that we're back playing sport we we see our role probably as, as trying to bring people together um, you know s socially and giving people something to cheer about and, and getting good results and yeah we're, we're really excited about getting back on the field and and doing that. In many ways, this tournament is a first. You guys are the first country to get rugby back onto the field during this COVID-19 pandemic. But worldwide, as rugby returns, there are going to be some different rules put in place for other countries and maybe other teams. Do you think you will see a massive change in rugby globally? Heading forward, a lot of countries will keep the competitions uh, within their borders so they can um, have control, I guess, like we have in New Zealand. So. Yeah, there's a lot of issues to work through um, around borders and and the game itself and managing, um, you know, this pandemic. It's it's a challenging time. The big news: Dan Carter is back playing his rugby in New Zealand. Well, us ladies are happy. Very happy. I'm <laughs> sure I can see your smile. Um, well, we talked about it. Plenty of times before, but the influence a senior guy like Dan Carter have on the younger players. Um, what's the influence a guy like him will have on the guys playing in this tournament, guys coming through, not having played Super Rugby maybe before, but having the chance to play with Dan Carter in the same team? Yeah, Dan Carter's returning. Uh, happy to say he's coming back to the Blues, but um, we're, we're, we've welcomed him and, and to our squad. Obviously, uh, very experienced player, and he's got a pretty good CV. <laughs> so to have him on our side, it's pretty good for our young first fives, and pretty much for our whole team. Really, he's he's an old head, and he's been through it all. He's won World Cups and Super Rugby Championships. So look, we'll just be we're just keen to tap into his knowledge, and I think he's keen to do the same and, and help us out. So. Very exciting to have him on board uh, and look forward to him putting on that blues jersey. Yeah, it's great to see DC back in New Zealand rugby. Um, even if it is at the Blues, it's it's a wee bit painful to see. But um, yeah, I think he'll he'll be um, invaluable for the Blues there, offering his experience, um, potentially as a player coach. Um, so yeah, it's great for young players to learn off him and I guess for him to share his knowledge and experiences. So, yeah, I think it's a win-win for New Zealand rugby as a whole. Well, we've seen the Hurricanes uh, celebrating with <laughs> Bowden with Barrett <laughs> that when they classic. scored the try, pulling him into the little circle. Uh, Scott, you guys must be excited to see Dan Carter on the other side. Will you pull him into the other as well? Yeah, I'm sure if uh, DC gets a chance to play, um, yeah, it would be exciting to play against him. I'm, he's obviously in great physical condition, as he always is. So at, at his tender age of 38, he'll be playing like a spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people joke about getting older, but I, I truly believe that uh, that sportsmen, like age is just a number now. I feel like you could be professional. Look at Roger Federer in tennis. He's still going. Like gone are the days when people used to retire in their early 20s. I mean, they, you came out of retirement at what age? Yeah, coming out of it at 37. <laughs> um, exactly. But I, I mean, I felt better at 38, 39 than what I did at 35. Yeah. Because of the break I took for two years, um, and I think a guy like DC will definitely, he's looking after himself, he's playing just a certain amount of games, so he's going to have a big impact. I think the only strange thing for him will be passing to somebody in a blues, yes. in a blues kit as opposed uh, to a Crusaders kit. And now, one last question, guys, and it's the question that everybody hates to answer, but who do you think is going to win? <laughs> I think we'll win. 
yeah, I'm going to have to back my team to win uh, the Crusaders for the first Aotearoa champions. Well, I have to go with Scott. <laughs> I think uh, the Blues will get close, but yeah. probably the Crusaders will still be just too strong for all of them. But um, it's just amazing watching this. And uh, we in South Africa are really enjoying it. Um, good luck and enjoy the tournament. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Rugby rebooted. We're talking rugby again, isn't that amazing? Oh, so lucky to be talking rugby again. And five nice guys, captains of huge teams, and just so awesome to just sit down and chat with them. And it's great to see some of the big stars back in there as well. People go to the stadium to see superstars and all the New Zealand superstars that's playing in this competition. And it's so fabulous to see the fans back in the stands, not having to social distance or wear masks or have hand sanitizer and just having a good time. And let's hope when South African rugby resumes, we can have us, our fans and stands absolutely packed again. I can't wait to see our guys back on the park. I've spoken to Dwayne Vermeulen, I've spoken to Lukanya Alm in the week. Uh, the guys are ready to get back there. They're not training yet, they're still in isolation, but um, let's hope we'll see our guys back there soon. There won't be any fans, but maybe in Vestek can sneak us into New Zealand. We'll be in the fans, we'll be hugging everyone, we'll be cheering. I would just love that. He's just joking, we're going to social distance. But thank you so much to the fans. We know that when Super Rugby returns worldwide, you'll all come out and watch.